You've heard it in the news uh, on our TV partner, K2, and here on KEX. Uh, the question, are TriMet's broken fare machines creating an unfair system? Many riders of Max reporting they, they can't get the tickets they need out of the machines, and then they bump into the fare inspector and face the possibility of a $175 uh, fine for non-payment. Well, let's get to Mary Fetch at, at TriMet. Mary, uh, what's your take on this whole thing and, and what a lot of people are saying is a big problem for them? Well, you know, the um, we have real-time information so that we know what's happening with the machine. So um, if a fare inspector boards and, and, and says, uh, runs into a rider who doesn't have a fare, um, they, and they say, hey, I was at this station and it didn't print a fare and, and such, we have real-time information so we can verify that, you know, which is really important because, you know, um, you know, we, we want people to pay their fare <clears throat> and we want the machines to work, obviously. So... About more than 90% of the time the machines work. Um, there's more than one machine. You know, I know it's frustrating for writers. Um, there are a couple tips that you can do to sort of prevent this problem. Um, one, buy a, a couple of tickets, put them in your wallet, and as you come up to a machine, just um, validate and uh, board the train. That makes it really easy. There's always more than one train, one uh, ticket vending machine at a station, so check the other machines. So, you know, the, the fare inspectors know what's happening out there. Um, they do uh, void a ticket if they, you know, they'll write the ticket, they'll come back, and they'll check to see, hey, was that machine working? Um, and, you know, it's a little inconvenient, but if it's the next station, if it didn't work at one station, you get off at the next one and uh, buy a ticket. Yeah, but, but Mary, uh, if you're on your way to work, you can't get off a train and then buy a ticket and, and then have to wait for the next one to come through. I mean, my wife takes the TriMet uh, Max to work every single day, and she encounters these broken machines, and it's really, really frustrating. She has gone, by the way, to buying the monthly pass. That I guess that's one way around it. That's one way around it. That's right. You know, they, we are in the process of upgrading our oldest machines, and come September, the the the, the uh, ticket vending machines will actually operate more efficiently because we're going to a no zone system. So there'll be fewer choices, um, and the machines will have less wear and tear on them. Um, but you're right. You know, it, it's our responsibility to have working machines. It's also the rider's responsibility to have their fare. If if the other tickets, if a, if it's at a transit center, walk over to a bus and say, "Hey, can you sell me a ticket?" You know, so um, the best advice is to to really sort of always have that that ticket in your wallet. And you know, I was on the system the other day and trying to help some folks buy some tickets, and there were five people wanting to buy tickets, and you know that would have taken five to seven minutes. It's it takes time to buy tickets out of the machine. So if you have that ticket, uh, it just makes it easy and so. Mary, Mary Fetch, thank you very much. Her, Your her cell phone's phone working is... as good as the machines <laughs> yeah. are, right? <laughs> <laughs> the phone is breaking up, but Mary, we always appreciate your responding to us when we uh, have these issues and, and and want to talk to you. Mary Fetch, uh, TriMet Live on the Morning Update. And, you know, the point is people did want stronger uh, enforcement, and, and they've got the inspectors now. But the point that Mary made, they've got real-time information. If you had a busted machine that didn't give you a ticket... Tell the inspector because he should know. Right. And don't try to get away with something there because, again, he should know.